Hey everybody, this is Eric with Low VA Rates. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a wonderful Red Friday for me. That's why I'm wearing red. It's my way of showing support for the military. It's kind of loud, it's kind of proud. People always ask me, why you always wear that shirt on Friday? Because I love and support our military. If you want your own Red Friday shirt, just comment below in the YouTube video section of comments and we'll tell you how to get one. Today we're gonna talk, oh, before I forget, down here to the right on your screen is a red subscribe button. Red is the keyword today. Click that button so that you can know when we're producing fresh new content. Today we're gonna to talk about how the E, E, M works, okay? I guess we probably ought to describe or explain what EEM is before we go any further. Who knows what it is? I'm gonna pause, say it out loud. That's right, no sir, you're wrong. Yep, yeah, ma'am, you're right. Just kidding guys. EEM, energy efficient mortgage, okay? Energy efficient mortgage. That is our EEM. These are popular. People love these loans and veterans out of FHA borrowers, USDA borrowers, conventional borrowers, the VA loan makes it the easiest, most accessible loan out there to get energy efficient improvements on your home. Okay, so let's talk about those improvements. The VA gives guidelines. If you've been watching our videos for a while, the VA very rarely comes out with black and white rules. They do have some, but they give guidelines and they let us manage ourselves. They trust their veterans. They entrust their VA lenders like low VA rates. Here are some energy efficient improvements you could make to your house. How about solar panels? Okay, that sounds obvious. Solar panels. An energy efficient improvement is anything that's gonna lower the cost of heating and cooling. Gonna make your utility bills go lower. Solar panels, what else do you guys think? Um, how about double paned windows? Double pane, I def pane that way. Windows, double pane windows. That could be questioned at some lenders. If you've got destroyed windows and you've just got a dilapidated home and it's an excuse to put in new windows, not gonna work. But if honestly you're putting in more efficient windows, it could work. How about, um, turf. We've got wonderful veterans down there in Phoenix where it's probably 120 degrees today. Get rid of your grass and your shrubs and put in turf, saving you on water costs, right? Not only are you conserving, conserving water costs, um, or conserving water, you're lowering your water costs. Man, the, the, the list goes on and on. Insulation, okay? A lot of houses don't have up-to-date insulation. How about weather stripping, okay? I better put weather in there. Don't need any jokes on that. Weather stripping. Their list could go on and on. Work with us if you have questions as to whether or not your proposed energy improvements to your house will, mit VA, will um, comply with VA guidelines. Now, let's talk about how this all works. Whether you're purchasing a new home, doing a streamline, or doing a cash out refinance, here's what the VA says. You've got 3000 or less, you've got 3,001 to 6,000, and you've got over 6,000. And these are all dollars I'm talking about here. So let's just say, I'm gonna keep it simple. We're doing a ton of streamlines right now. Interest rates are low. Somebody comes in and says, hey, Eric, I'm at 375. I want your 275 rate, but I also want to do some energy improvements to my house. So we set the loan up like an absolute standard VA Earl, no appraisal, no documentation of, of your, your income or any of that sort of stuff. But you wanna put $3,000 worth of insulation in your house, okay? Well, you can do that. And there's almost no paperwork. It's an honor system. There's no inspection, there's no HERS appraisal, there's no math to be done. The VA says if the veteran's getting $3,000 or less added to their loan, we're gonna take their word for it. Lender, do some verification. We're gonna ask you what you're doing and we're gonna make sure you're not putting in a theater system because that's abusing the program and we're not gonna allow that. But if you're borrowing $3,000 or less, very little, if any, extra paperwork. Now, most of our veterans go for the cap of 6,000. VA says, you can add up to $6,000, just like you can roll closing costs into your loan. We roll this $6,000 worth of improvements into your loan so that you've got the money to pay the contractor or go down to Lowe's and buy your weather stripping. 
But if you're going to go over $3,000, so anywhere in this ballpark, there's some evidence that's needed. There's some calculations that are needed. For example, we may want something from the window salesman at Lowe's that says they estimate you're going to drop your heating and cooling costs by $40 a month. And they've got software that does this and a calculation and they've proven this over time. And so they provide us with that so that we can make sure if we add $6,000 into your mortgage, that might make your mortgage payment go up by $17 a month. Now you may say, wait a second, I thought I was lowering my interest rate. There's a calculation without the 6,000 that's taking you from that 375 to 275, you're saving a couple hundred bucks a month. But if we add 6,000 on there, now instead of saving 200 bucks a month, let's say you're saving 185, okay? So you have $15 less in savings a month, but your, your heating and cooling bill is gonna drop by $40 a month. That's gonna be approved because the additional cost involved with getting the windows or the improvements is, the cost of getting the improvements is less than the savings. So we do that test. And then secondly, we get something official making sure that you're actually doing what you're saying you're gonna do. Let's say you add this $6,000 into your loan and then your loan closes and we ask for evidence that you actually got the windows and you say, oh, I was just kidding. I just wanted the $6,000. You can't beat the VA, you can't trick the system and you shouldn't do that anyhow. I know none of our watchers would do that, but the rules are set up to protect the system. We would take the $6,000 that we were holding until your work was done and we would not give it back to you. We would take and we would send it to whoever's servicing your mortgage at the time. Let's just say it's with Chase Bank and we would pay your balance down by $6,000. And if you, you know, if you say, yeah, but I was gonna get the windows done. Well, this keeps you from abusing the system. It keeps lenders from abusing the system and it still pays your mortgage down. Now, one other catch, and we're gonna wrap this thing up. You gotta get all the work done within six months. Some lenders may have stricter rules. They may want it done sooner. So don't go out and get $6,000, roll that into your loan, get a 2.75 interest rate from low VA rates in June, and then not get the work done very quickly because if the work doesn't get done, but you're sitting on all these windows and you're just waiting for someone to come and install them, you're not gonna get the full $6,000. You're gonna get the money for the windows and the contractor's gonna be out of luck and he's gonna be coming after you and then you've got liens and judgments and all this other stuff. So just get the work done on time. It's an amazing loan. Take advantage of it. Get a lower rate and a lower cost of uh, utility bill in your house all at the same time. I love this loan. We're one of the only lenders that does it and does it well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Friday at the same time.